Have you had this problem when you have battery exhausted, the camera cannot uh, run anymore? Right in the middle of your recording a video, the battery comes up. No more energy. It's the worst thing to have, isn't it? It's horrid. I have lost a few videos like that. I have to redo everything. Now I'm going to show you how I solve this problem. But let's go and look at what's happening to the Sony batteries. They are changing a lot over the years. They have changed. Okay, these are the two batteries I'm using for my Sony Alpha 5100 camera. This is the original battery that came with the camera and it's about 1000 and its power rating is 1020 milliamp hours. This is the battery I bought as a spare battery. I should have bought two. I only bought one. Now with the lockdown, I can't go back to that shop to buy the, another one. This is 5000 milliamp hours. And this lasts three to four times longer than the original battery. To me, this battery is wonderful. When I first bought it, the charge time for this was about six hours. The charge time for this was three hours. Now they are about the same. After using it a few times, their charge time is about three hours for both of them. The thing I didn't like is that halfway the, uh, during uh, filming or making a video, the battery will fail. There's one very interesting thing with this camera. Let me show you. So I'm showing you the screen of my Alpha 5100. I will switch it on. I've put one of the batteries inside. I'll go to the menu. Go to setup. Let's look at version. This has a software version of 3.1. It's much better. And I don't seem to have any overheating problems with this. Maybe it's disguised somewhere else. But uh, let's go. Let's go back to one more feature. Monitor brightness. I can have sunny weather, which is even more brighter. Right, so outside in the hot sun, I can actually see what's on the screen, but the battery doesn't last that long. It, I think the three hour, uh, three hour battery lasts for only one hour with this high brightness. So let me change back to lower brightness and uh, let's get out of this. The thing I noticed about this uh, version of Alpha Sony 5100, the one that I bought, uh, I think uh, early 2020, is that if I I can run the camera taking videos and photographs, but the moment I switch off the camera because I want to do some other uh, sort of uh, work. To relate it to the video uh, either change the setup or something or move the tripod somewhere else when I switch back on the camera it won't switch on it will be like this blank screen and I have to take out the battery I have to take out the battery and even though the battery didn't really feel warm I when I switched 
to a, another battery if I sorry if I put back the battery and try and switch it on it won't switch on but if I take it out and put another battery in it will switch on to me it suggests that there, uh, there is a a chip inside the battery that is monitoring the battery temperature and stops it from being used uh, until the battery cools down so now the temperature rise is not in the camera but it is being detected inside the battery these are lithium-ion batteries they have problems I just show you what happened with my old Nikon P310 there was a heat sink heat sensor inside here that broke and uh, it cost me 280 ringgit which is about uh, 70 US I need to explain something about uh, lithium-ion batteries the older generation of lithium-ion batteries were I believe uh, explosive in the sense that if something goes wrong they will explode so we have heard many cases of handphones exploding while they are being charged and while they are being used and charged at the same time this is probably why many cameras the older generation of cameras uh, did not allow charging of the battery while it, they were being used most likely because the, the lithium-ion batteries could overheat and explode. Now, what happens in the older generation of uh, cameras is that there is a temperature sensor in the camera that detects whether the battery is overheating and then cuts all power to the camera and stops the battery from working. I noticed this because I was doing videos of uh, my cooking recipes and when I'm taking a video of uh, a recipe at the oven or at the frying pan or while I'm boiling something or frying something on the wok the heat from the flames would heat my camera the Nikon P310 and you will feel the camera body is hot and the sensor breaks and blocks the uh, battery from being used and I had to go back to Nikon to get the camera repaired uh, that was the first indication now modern cameras the latest generation of cameras have the detection temperature detection at the battery not in the camera which makes a lot more sense and it stops you from every five minutes switching off your camera and switching it back on it stops you from doing that which is another safety precaution the, the camera manufacturers have introduced into the cameras so now let's see whether I could build my own 8.4 volt supply to drive my Sony camera dummy battery so this is the reason why using a dummy battery is better because the dummy battery will not go up in temperature and that means you can run for a longer time it looks like Sony has moved the temperature sensing from the camera to the battery and probably have made the cameras more efficient the usage of the battery that means using a dummy battery solves much of your problems whether the dummy battery runs from the mains or runs from a power bank it will save you a lot of Oh, so-called overheating problems especially with Malaysia that room temperature is already 32 degrees centigrade which means it's about uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit and we don't have much leeway for cooling to take place unless you have a fan blowing all the time on your camera and that means you will pick up the wind noise this is my dummy battery for my alpha 5100 and uh, it's plugged in and let's uh, test it out here's my Sony Alpha 5100 I removed the battery 
let me plug it in. It's locked into position. And let's close it. Okay, now let me plug in the, the battery to the mains adapter and switch on the mains and let me switch it on. Ah, good, it's working. Fantastic. So that's very good, isn't it? It's just a bit tight here. I don't know why. The other thing I realized is that if I want to make my own power supply to, to charge the battery or to supply the dummy battery voltage I needed to check how much voltage was coming out of the adapter so that's what I did this is what I want to check the voltage output from the oh, let me switch it on Eight point four. Eight point four volts. So now I can make my own uh, DC voltage supply. Supply eight point four volts in, and uh, into the dummy battery, into my dummy battery, and uh, I should get about seven, seven point two volts out which will drive the thing and that means i can also use a power bank that outputs 8.4 volts directly plug in pl plug into my dummy battery here and uh, i can run so now i have to search for a power bank that gives me 8.4 volts or even if it's a 12 volt i can step it down I dug, I dug up these two ICs, power regulators from my uh, box of ICs and uh, one is a 12 volt supply and one is a 9 volt supply if I can read that correctly, it's so faint. Okay now the problem with the, these two ICs is they are 1 amp, they are not 2 amps and I tried searching for 2, 2.5 amps or 3 amp. Uh, voltage regulators and uh, I can't find any so it looks like I can't use I can't use uh, my own circuit design I have to wait and search for a while before I can find an IC a voltage regulator that can do the job simple voltage regulator this is very straightforward circuit circuit design to do just solder the three leads and plug it in and stick it into your yeah, of course there's a little bit of uh, uh, drop in voltage you have to introduce and you can use uh, the 9 volt probably I can put a diode in front and it will give me 8.4 volts the 12 volt I have to do a little bit uh, a little bit extra work but I have to find something that will give me uh, 2.1 to 2.5 amps at least so that I can drive the camera I've shown you that it's not so easy to make a power supply something to replace the adapter for the Sony cameras to be used with the dummy battery furthermore I've shown you uh, the change in design of the batteries I believe the newer generation batteries are safer to use and 
And the final conclusion is dummy batteries are much safer to use because they don't introduce a temperature rise problem inside the camera. If you know something about the Sony lithium-ion batteries, please, please put it down in the comments and check the links I have down there.